So I work with a lot of women who ask for mentoring or coaching and leadership, whether you are leading uh, a small company, one or two people, or a large company, or you're a leader in your community, everybody leads, whether you're an informal leader, right? You know who you are. The informal leaders are the ones in your company that kind of lead the pack, and those are the ones that you need to make sure that you're always in touch with because they are really in touch with the people that maybe aren't always raising their hand. If you are not the strongest leader, about staying here and setting priorities and figuring out how you're tracking outcomes and letting your people be experts and making sure that they're developing to be experts, that you have an, a certain level of expertise in something. Keeping up with this rate of change and the globalization, because you're not competing against the company next door. You really are competing at, against the world. So it is super important that you really understand what you're expert at, that you continue to keep learning, that you're hiring people that are expert at things and that you're getting them to work together, and that you're also supporting their lifelong learning. And this is where I come back to higher ed. You can't know everything and your people have to get on their tracks and they need to keep learning. And you have to be able to provide those opportunities. As we become more technology driven and more global, where we've got all these partnerships, your value for all of you here today is your ability to truly connect with other people.